Madam President, I come to the floor uh, tonight uh, happy that the Senate is going to uh, move forward on uh, substituting what is originally the uh, Senate passed Schumer Young bill on the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act. That's what we're going to, to be voting on and, and then sending that over to the House of Representatives to uh, basically convey that that is our desire here in the Senate and hopefully get this process of going to conference uh, in a response back from the House of Representatives so we can move forward on reinvigorating America's supply chain. Madam President, I know you know how important this is, but the Senate bill, uh, again, brought to us by Senators Schumer and Young, I think was quite prescient on the problems that we were going to face as it relates to supply chains. But I don't think that uh, everybody really understands the Senate position is really about the fact that we need to have technology transfer happen at a faster rate. That other countries, because the United States has been such prolific publishers of information and content, actually have taken that content and information and been able to turn it into actual commercial applications. So in the United States, we want to do something to create while still protecting NSF, the National Science Foundation on basic research and advanced research, and the Department of Energy on, on research, also work faster at translating the successes of our science into true application and translating that into helping our manufacturers here in the United States of America. This is so important because we know that in various sectors of our economy, we are seeing much of the supply chain controlled in other parts of the world. We've seen that Asia now controls much of the supply chain for pharmaceuticals. We're having a big debate about how we're going to drive down the cost of pharmaceuticals. We're going to invest here in the United States, I think, in more biotechnology and synthetic biology to find new ways to discover and make life-saving drugs. And that's very important that we do that research here in the Senate bill. We're very focused on what areas do we want to do faster translational science to help bring the supply chain back to the United States. As we talked last week, we see that Taiwan makes more than 90% of the world's leading edge chips, which drive our national security and our economic security. And we want to do the research here in the United States through the acceleration with the tech directorate to invent the next generation of chips and build them here domestically. And we've heard about the risk of Americans falling behind on advanced communications like 5G or 6G. And so we have ideas here about how to translate that into uh, faster deployment of technology that could help our manufacturing base. So. Madam President, I'm actually very excited about all of that innovation because if we all work together, we collaborate, we've done the R&D, we actually work harder at getting it translated, I think there's lots of solutions that we can put before our manufacturers here to help them with their competitiveness on a worldwide basis. That is what the tech directorate does. The manufacturing uh, USA institutes, the technology hubs and the technology centers are all parts of this legislation that would help us move technology out into uh, the world in a faster pace and work collaboratively to solve these problems that again would bring the manufacturing and the supply chain back into the United States of America. I get really excited about the issues related to uh, the automobile sector and the grid. Coming from a state that's had uh, cheap electricity for a long time, it's built our economy over and over and over again. That is that people want to locate there because the electricity is so affordable. It's one of the reasons why we have one of the highest deployments of electric vehicles in the country because it really only costs you about a dollar a gallon to fill up versus the rising well above four dollar a gallon that we're seeing today. So people are very excited about an electricity grid and a supply chain here in the United States that would build here the battery technology, implement this faster integration into our economy, 
and get a grid that works and enables that kind of electrification of the transportation sector, I guarantee you the United States could be world leaders in the deployment of this if we get this legislation passed and we continue to make investments in the National Science Foundation and the Tech Directorate. Now, I know some of our colleagues, you know, have been concerned that um, this somehow takes away from the National Science Foundation's focus on basic research. I, I would tell you that it, it does both. It, the Senate bill that we will be voting on uh, does both. It basically continues to invest in the NSF and their traditional role and also gets this idea of a tech directorate which focuses on the translational science again to help us get more of the supply chain back in the United States. It, it does both. It also, this underlying bill, as I said, is the Senate version which made the same investment in the Department of Energy, which was so important because the Department of Energy plays such an important aspect of this. It also um, does something that my colleague Senator Wicker and I and others worked on, which is trying to make sure that we are getting more technology development in, in a variety of places. That is that we are building on STEM and the amount of investment in STEM education. The fact that we want to have innovation everywhere so that opportunity is also anywhere. And we also make more investments in the idea of our EBSCOR program, which is helping areas of the United States that may not have as much tech investment to continue to increase the investment in their institutions. I hope this is something my colleagues understand that this is about growing the capacity for us to innovate in many different parts of the United States and across many different sectors of our economy and with increasing the capacity of women and minorities to also participate in the kinds of programs that will help America be competitive. So, Madam President, I encourage my colleagues to support uh, the underlying Senate bill, help us get it uh, in, move forward, and to also send this over tonight on the second vote to the House and continue the process to get us to real negotiations and get us working on these supply chain issues.